What's going on, y'all? So I recently did a video about how to master in Studio One and how to print your mixes back into Studio One uh, using the outputs of your interface and the inputs of your interface. Um, had some people comment and say that it does not make a difference. So uh, to show you that it does, I'm doing a shootout here. Uh, this is a recent mix that I did and I'm showing the difference between analog summing printing and then digital summing and so let's start with analog summing uh i mix with a dangerous d box analog uh analog summing box and what analog summing is is when you're taking multiple outputs of your interface and summing it down into two channels that are coming back into your interface so for example um you know you know i use an antelope orion 32 i'm coming out of eight channels of the Orion into eight channels on the D box. And then I'm coming out of the D box into two channels of the interface. And I'll put a, a diagram up here so you can see an example of that. Now, uh, printing is when you're taking the whole mix out of two channels, out of two channels of your interface and recording it into two channels of your interface. And digital summing is when you're letting the DAW, in this case Studio One, take all of the tracks in your mix and sum it down to a stereo file. So with analog summing, printing, and digital summing, is the end result is the same. You want to get your mix to a, a left-right stereo file. And you know, as I'm showing, you can do that in different ways. So uh, just to show you with analog summing how I break my mixes out, I, I send all of my drums out of outputs one and two. I send all of my instruments or music through outputs three and four. All of my vocals go through output five and six. And all of my effects, delay, reverb, those go through seven and eight. Uh, on this, on the mix bus for this mix, I used... Uh, the SSL Duende compressor, and my JDK R24 stereo EQ. So even the digital summing is going through this analog EQ. And I'm going to play, well, first I'm going to play these three uh, without you knowing which one they are. Uh, therefore, you know, we don't get any any bias opinions. We'll listen to all three files. It's about um, eight to 12 bars uh yes about 12 bars of the uh the intro in the beginning of the first verse of the song and so i'm going to play you the analog summing i'm going to play you uh the digital summing i'm going to play you the printed one and we'll play them all uh one by one and then i will reveal which ones are are the uh which ones are which and then we'll take a look at uh, stepping through them so you can hear the immediate differences where you're really going to hear the difference uh, between these three. Um, you know, some say that these differences are subtle, uh, but uh, when you really focus and listen to either the low end or the mid range, how the vocal is sitting, you'll hear difference with these uh, three examples. All right, so uh, here we go. Here is the first one. I bet you didn't, I know, you didn't know that I that would I love to love the love, love, love y'all. You were something I never seen. Same. The very fabric of what could be a dream. Be a dream. If so, I don't want to wake. wake. You're so sweet, wake. I don't want a cake. cake. Make your way up Baker Street. Blonde streaks in your hair, red bottoms on your feet. As I I bet you didn't I bet know, you know that, I that I would love to love, love to love, love y'all. You were something I never seen. Same. The very fabric of what could be a dream. Be a dream. If so, I don't want to wake. wake. You're so sweet, wake. I don't want a cake. cake. Make your way up Baker Street. Blonde streaks in your hair, red bottoms on your feet. As I I bet you didn't I know, didn't know that, I that I would love to love, love the love, love y'all. 
you was something I never seen. The very fabric of what could be a dream. It was so I don't wanna wake. It's so sweet, I don't wanna cake. Make your way up Bake Street. Blood streaks in your hair, red bottoms on your feet. Okay, so uh, I'm about to reveal which ones were which. Um, if you want to, feel free to pause this back up, listen to them again. If you're not ready to hear uh, which is which, um, I have I've exported uh, WAV files of these three, and I'll have a link in the description where you can download these and put them in your DAW, and therefore you can A/B them yourself and listen to them. This is also a good way uh, to hear what analog summing does to a mix. Uh, if you were thinking about uh, going that route in analog summing. I'm a huge fan of analog summing. Um, you know, I've had many people um, over the past few months uh, ask me about analog summing. Okay, so let's uh, get into the results. So the first one was mix down, which is the digital summing. Uh, the second one was the print uh, which is just coming two channels out of your interface, recording back into the interface. And the first one was, or the last one, excuse me, is analog summing. So again, with analog summing and with printing, uh, the difference that that has over the digital summing is you're letting your interface do the A to D conversion instead of letting the DAW uh, convert everything for you. And uh, before I forget to mention, uh, I'm using the Antelope Audio Peer 2 for the A to D conversion for the analog summing and for the print file. So with the print file, I'm coming two channels out of the Orion into uh, the A to D conversion on the Peer 2. Okay, so now let's take a listen to these. and I'm going to start with the analog summing and we'll work our way down. Um, I'm going to play it and... As it's playing, I'm going to let it loop a few times, and I'm going to switch between them so you can hear the immediate difference between these three. I bet you didn't, I know, didn't know that I that would I love to love to love y'all. You were something I never seen, the very fabric of what could be a dream. If so, I don't want to wake. It's so sweet, I don't want to cake. Make your way up Bake Street, blonde streaks in your hair, red bottoms on your feet. I bet you didn't know that I would love to love to love y'all. You were something I never seen, the very fabric of what could be a dream. If so, I don't want to wake. It's so sweet, I don't want a cake. Make your way up Bake Street, blonde streaks in your hair, red bottoms on your feet. I bet you didn't know that I would love to love to love y'all. You were something I never seen, the very fabric of what could be a dream. If so, I don't want to wake. It's so sweet, I don't want a cake. Make your way up Bake Street, blonde streaks in your hair, red bottoms on your feet. Okay, so that was a few passes uh, between them. Um, I'll give you what I'm uh, hearing the difference, and then you know you can focus on that. I'll play it again. You can focus and listen to that. Uh, one of the biggest difference I'm hearing is uh, the mid range and the vocal. In my opinion, uh, the vocal. Uh, it feels smoother in the print and the analog summing, and it, it feels a little more uh, rough in the in the mix down track, uh, where it, it just feels like the A to D conversion is doing something to the transients and just kind of smoothing it out. I just feel like the vocal is is sitting better. Uh, the analog summing is uh, has more width to me, um, whereas just. The digital summing one, I, I feel, as uh, well, what's the word for it? It kind of feels a little smeared. The mid-range feels a little smeared to me. Uh, but I just definitely feel like I hear more clarity in the print and the analog summing uh, one. The analog summing and the print are close, but um, I do like the low end on the analog summing one uh, better. Now, like I say, these are all 
uh, you know, at quick listen, when I say it will feel subtle, but when you take a immediate A to B comparison of them, um, I feel you can hear differences. So I'm going to play it again and just listen for, uh, let's focus on the vocal. Listen to the vocal and really focus on the vocal as I switch between these three. I bet you didn't know that I would love to love to love y'all. You were something I never seen. The very fabric of what could be a dream. If so, I don't wanna wake. You're so sweet, I don't wanna cake. Make your way up Bake Street. Blood streaks in your hair, red bottoms on your feet. As I I bet you didn't know that I would love to love to love y'all. You were something I never seen. The very fabric of what could be a dream. If so, I don't wanna wake. You're so sweet, I don't wanna cake. Make your way up Bake Street. Blood streaks in your hair, red bottoms on your feet. All right, and now uh, listen to the width, um, and it's kind of taken for granted but i hope you listen to this on some good uh monitors or at least uh headphones uh, so you can really hear the difference in this but uh, listen to the width now and as i switch between the two i bet you didn't I know, know that i would I love to love to love y'all you were something I never seen. The very fabric of what could be a dream. If so, I don't wanna wake. You're so sweet, I don't wanna cake. Make your way up Bake Street. Blood streaks in your hair, red bottoms on your feet. I bet you didn't know that I would love to love to love y'all. You were something I never seen. The very fabric of what could be a dream. If so, I don't wanna wake. You're so sweet, I don't wanna cake. Make your way up Bake Street. Blood streaks in your hair, red bottoms on your feet. I bet you didn't know that I would love to love to love y'all. You were something I never seen. The very fabric of what could be a dream. If so, I don't wanna wake. You're so sweet, I don't wanna cake. Make your way up Bake Street. Blood streaks in your hair, red bottoms on your feet. I bet you didn't know. That I would love to love to love y'all. You were something I never seen. The very fabric of what could be a dream. If so, I don't wanna wake. You're so sweet, I don't wanna cake. Make your way up Bake Street. Blood streaks in your hair, red bottoms on your feet. Okay, so even there with the low end, I'm, I'm not. Um, a, a fan of the digital summing on the low end it just again feels a little smeared and um i just feel more more clarity that i hear more clarity in the low end and uh more punch with the analog summing and print version uh but there you go like i said in the description i have a link where you can download these files put them in your daw listen to them yourself and see if you can hear the difference i'd love for everyone to comment and let me know if you agree with me disagree um you know let me know what you think i will also say that uh uh, the printing, uh, because we're using the A to D conversion in the interface, I will say that uh, the better your interface or the better the A to D conversion is in your interface, I would say that the, the greater difference or greater chance you'll have of hearing a difference um, in these files. All right. I'll catch you all next time.